What is the difference between tide and current? Tides go up and down. Currents move left and right. Tides create a current in the oceans, near the shore, and in bays along the coast. Tides are characterized by water moving up and down over a long period of time. When used in association with water, the term current describes the motion of the water. What is a tidal current? Tidal currents can be defined as the periodic movement of water, driven principally, though not necessarily exclusively, by a head difference created by out-of-phase ocean tides at each end of a restriction. What are the four types of tides? The four types of tides are high tide, low tide, spring tides, and neap tides. High tide, when the seawater reaches its greatest height within the tide cycle, Low tide, when the sea water reaches its lowest height within the tide cycle. Spring tides, during the full moon and new moon phases. The moon and the sun are aligned, and their effects combine, producing the spring tides. Did you know? There is a proven increase in the activity of fish during spring tides. Above all if these coincide with sunrise or sunset. And these are the most propitious days for fishing. Neap tides. During waxing and waning moons. On the contrary. The effects are detracted, thereby obtaining tides of less amplitude called neap tides. The movement on the seabed tends to be less, and this normally results in days that are less propitious for fishing than days with spring tides. How do tides work? The moon's gravitational pull generates something called the tidal force. The tidal force causes Earth and its water to bulge out on the side closest to the moon and the side farthest from the moon. These bulges of water are high tides. So basically, high tides and low tides are caused by the moon. Enough about tides. What about currents? How does a rip current form? Rip currents form when waves break near the shoreline, piling up water between the breaking waves and the beach. One of the ways this water returns to sea is to form a rip current, a narrow stream of water moving swiftly away from shore, often perpendicular to the shoreline. Do rip currents pull you under? There is no current that will pull you under in the ocean. There are many different types of rip currents, and they form in several ways. Quickly changing wave heights, which occur when a large set of swells rolls in, can trigger a rip current. Breaking waves are the key ingredients for all rip currents. How do you get out of a rip current? Rip currents are dangerous currents that pull people out to sea and can move faster than Olympic swimmers in the water. In general, you can escape a rip current by swimming parallel to shore. But since not all currents go straight out, sometimes it's easier to swim one direction instead of the other. How to spot a rip current? Look for deeper darker colored water. Fewer breaking waves. Rippled surface surrounded by smooth water. Also, sand floating on the water beyond the waves. Rip currents don't always display all signs. Sometimes only two signs will be visible. So always spend time checking the water before going in. So there you have it. We hope this video helped you understand the difference between tide and currents. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel for more fishing related videos.